What's up everyone? Welcome back to Fish and Hex. In today's video, we're going to be adding our second Apex 8 energy bar to the 125 gallon reef tank. If you don't already know this, that Apex bar came from the Zeovit system, which is no longer running. If you want to know what happened to that system, check out the previous video. And then I go in all in detail on what happened to that system and why it's no longer up and running. So what we need to do is take everything out of here because essentially all my Apex stuff, the main Apex stuff, modules are against the side wall here. So in order to make this fit, we need to take the dosing pumps out, the dosing containers, remove all that, and then we're gonna raise them up, raise up some of the equipment, and then we can set the second bar in underneath there. Uh, when I first originally built the system, I did not plan for a second Apex bar. I didn't feel I had a need for one at the time, but uh, as, as you know, you grow in your hobby and your needs change. So this is actually gonna be really good because I have a lot of equipment that is hooked up to power strips power strips essentially daisy chained into the apex bar and this will allow me to move several things around and then I can add float switches and, and stuff like that which we will do in this series and that will allow equipment to be turned off based on float switches and timers and all that good stuff so it's really going to allow me to have more flexibility with this tank so I'm excited to get this on there um, other than that guys let me get started and we'll be right back all right, guys, so I removed everything from here, got the dosing containers out. I set the dosing pumps down here and uh, just unplugged them for now. Got everything out of the way. So what we got to do now is remove this stand, take all this stuff out here, and essentially we're going to bring everything up and uh, allow us to have some more room. So let me go ahead and get started on that, and we will be right back. All right, just a quick tip. When you're taking things apart, it's good to label everything. All right, so this is the auto top off. I have a, the sticky tabs here, and... Um, Essentially, we're just going to label everything that we take apart because the last thing you want to do is go chasing wires that you already have um, cable, pretty much cable managed or have stored away and, you know, zip tied together. You don't want to be following those around. So now we know this is the ATO one. So when we go to install it again, we don't have to go running wires because this one goes up and around and through the back of the tank. And guess what? That solves that issue. All right, guys, I just finished everything. It took me about four hours to do this entire process. As you can see, I have the main um, apex control on top there, the lunar module there to the right, the wireless, and then the two plugins for the uh, dosing pumps. I have my third dosing pump just sitting on there right now, all the additives. And we have both uh, apex eight bars there, and I have about four free outlets right now that I still have to program, okay? Um, up here we have our JVO and then our um, PM2 module for the salinity. Ran the wires over. Sorry about that. We have our first um, breakout box and then our PM1 module. Okay. So that's about it, guys. It's pretty organized. It's a lot better than it was. And um, I'm finally glad that it's over with. Alright, now that we have the Apex 8 bar installed on the 125, we have to come in here to Apex and reorganize our entire layout. So first of all, we have to get rid of the ZOPH and the ZO temp, and also move the second amperage bar over to our side there. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to unlock everything. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Okay, so for now, we'll just move this over here. Make sure that's where I want it right now. We'll switch the uh, salinity with that amperage. Okay. Alrighty. So now that everything is essentially moved for right now, I might come in here later and reorganize it, but let's go ahead and organize our outlets. So these are the original Zeovit outlets here. So um, I do know that outlet one is the auto top off and outlet five is the wireless adapter. So uh, as you can see, they are still uh, label for the Zeobit system, so let's go in them one by one and set them up. So this is going to be eight. All right, so we'll just put uh, we'll put eight on it here. We'll see if it actually saves a number. I don't know if it will. It might not. Oh, it actually did. Okay. So for the ones that we're not going to use, we'll just number so we know where to come back later, and when we're ready to organize it, we'll be good to go. So this is three. We'll find one and five eventually. Seven. This 
it's just, oh, here we go. Here's one. So this is an auto top off. So we'll just do ATO um, for now. And we are going to make sure it is set to pump. Reference initial on time to be zero. That could be fine. And then we'll set this to also zero. So the pump will eventually uh, turn on and never turn off. Okay. Save that. All right. So we got the ATO out of the way. Looking for five. That's four. Here's five, so wireless. I'm sorry. And we want to make sure that that is also, that is a pump. We're just going to leave it as a pump, even though it is just the adapter. Essentially, we just want the outlet to always stay on. So initial off time is zero, on time five, and it never turns off. Okay. Um, I don't have any feed mode set up on this system. I really don't bother with that, but I will get into that later in the series on how to set up feed modes, and I will most likely utilize one down the road. Um, so that one's good. So we just got to change this one to whatever number it is, and uh, also this the one after that. So this is two. This is six. So if you guys are wondering how I'm figuring these numbers out, we got the uh, number here, dash this number here tells you where it is on the apex bar. Okay, so that's six. And then you'll look on the panel there and you'll get an idea of where six is on the bar. Okay. All right, so that's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move those two used outlets over to this section. Actually, no, I'm not gonna bother doing that. I am gonna come in here and reorganize this because it's really it's basically designed for two tanks right now and I'm gonna change that up a little bit just to make it easier for me I'm essentially just gonna move all these outlets and stuff over here and then kind of keep my power heads and my surge modes and all that stuff in my uh, breakout box which is separate from the uh, the power outlets themselves but that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, like comment subscribe and again this is our apex series and we have a lot of videos to cover and um, I'm going to try to get one out every couple days just to make it uh, consistent and interesting. If you have any specific questions regarding the Apex, just ask me. If I don't know the answer, I'll find out for you. But other than that, guys, I will see you next time. Later.